Hello guys, welcome to my channel Python Educare. Today I'm here to discuss on how to create your own GUI interfaces using Python. So we have a, uh, so we have a module that is called Easy GUI. Uh, using that we can create our own uh, GUI interfaces, say message box, enter box, integer box, CC box. So we have a lot of uh, uh, GUI, GUI boxes. So let us see uh, how we can create our own message box and enter box. So this is nothing but uh, if you normally if you write a print uh, in a script, so it will write your uh, output in your command prompt. So instead, it will write your output in the window box. Let us see. For that, we need to import a model called import easygui. So let me install the model. three install easy gui okay so it's installed easy gui dot message box i need to have your title here so message so you can write it anyway Hello Python and we have the title. I will put title alone. So let us see. Oops, easy key. Okay. Yep. You can see my title is being described title and then the message box over here. What is the message I've written? I can write uh, it is displaying over here. Okay. Let me uh, let me uh, get an enter box. Let me write an enter box. Is good dot enter box. Send me, I will have a message. Please enter. Please enter your name. And title will be your uh, say detail. So let me run the script. You see here, please enter your name. Rafik. So now, what I can do is like, let me have this as x equal to. Now, what will happen is, I will just read the value using message box. Easy key dot message box. Message equal to details. Message equal to your X and title equal to detail. So let us see how we can integrate both and run together. So it is asking the graphic here. So let me enter it and see it is printing me as graphic. So hope you have understood how we can work with EasyGui message box and EasyGui enter box. Similarly, uh, this enter box is for uh, string. So, so now I need to, I can, I will show you how integer box works. This is, this will uh, work only for integer. This enter number. Okay. So it's printing twelve. So instead of in, instead of uh, integer 
if I enter any text value then it should throw me an error message see the value that you entered Rafik is not an integer so hope you have understood the integer integer box concept also if not you can always write to my comment box or you can mail me to my mail id i will always there to help you guys next we will be seeing how cc box works cc is nothing but continue a close box continue cancel box so for this what we can have is like pgv dot cc box message equal to confirm then title equal to uh, acknowledgement Let it show you confirm cancel option. Let's see. See, I have a message called title. I have a message called acknowledgement. Message confirm, and I will have a confirm and cancel option. So how this works is like if is agree dot this right, then if confirm means pass else so else i will be having a statement called quit so it should quit it so let me run the program so for confirm if i see it is confirming and it is moving to the next statement or it is just passing the statement and if i press uh, cancel then it is asking me to kill so it is killing the terminal or it is exiting the loop so this is how uh, CC box works or you can say uh, continue cancel box works and next I will be showing you what is yes no box yes no box also the same uh, same thing which is which it will have true or false let me show you that also and it will also work in the same same manner confirm you can see yes no if confirm it is it is just passing the statement and if it is no then it will just exit uh, next i'm showing button box okay. uh, let me show you what let me write the message as a variable Change your requirement now. Okay, next we have choices equal to. I should have this under uh, list format that is uh, apple, mango, guava. And next, you can say lychee. Okay. Now, next one is looks like display equal to physically dot button box. We have message, title, and we have choices. Okay. Now let us see how it runs. See we have user requirement, we have choose any item. Apple, mango, guava, lychee. So now, if we choose any of the item, say, if display equal to choices 0. So always ensure like, always ensure your first item of the list starts with zero 
0 1 2 3 print choices 0 okay similar way you can have more number if statements say if then display equal to 1 sorry display equal to choices 1 print choices So let me run the script once again. So, so it says print apple one, apple apple is zero. Next, if I have another statement, say I will be choosing mango. So, ah, sorry, choices. So next, if I choose for mango, it will print mango. So this is how our uh, button box works. So. These are buttons. If you see, these are button box. So similar way, we will be having choice box also. The, it just I will be changing this with choice box. The, the only the UI will change. Rest all structure will be same only. See if I run this program, only the UI changes. So I, will, I can choose it like this, and it will have the same feature as how uh, button box works. The only the advantage with our choice box is we can have multiple choices here we can list multiple choice options here for the user but in button box we cannot have multiple uh, multiple choice because that will make the interface ugly Mango. next we have a uh, multi choice box let us see how this works so for for multi choice box you need to have you need to just add here multi that's all and will have the same function as uh, uh, all the other stuffs so it will only only it will only uh, you had you can choose multiple uh, options together you can see we have uh, multiple options so you can select all or you can just uh, select a multi just one second. you can just select apple then you can select mango so you can have multiple options here So this is how multi choice box works. Next we have uh, text box. So for this, uh, we need it will just uh, populate uh, populate the contents of a file, or you can populate some text. Uh, uh, you can populate some contents in text format to the text box. So for this, uh, what we are going to do is like let me have a file window. Uh, So this is my source. Hello Python. Python is simple and Python is awesome. This is my source code here. So let me uh, read the value, read, read the contents from here, and print it into the text box. So what we are going to do is like we will just uh, or read or open the read the file and print it right with open that's fine now what I'm going to do is like I will just read the read, read the read the contents say line equal to file dot read i'll just read the entire file okay this is what i'm going to do now for the for the for the text box what i'm going to do is i will just uh, write a simple line that is easy the dot text box you can have message title and we'll have line let us see 
can see the contents printed over here hello python python is very simple python is awesome so this is how uh, text box works next we will be seeing code box uh, both uh, text box and code box are almost similar but only changes like uh, text box will be having a text wrapping and it will just uh, print it in that plain text format whereas code box will be non text wrapping and uh, it will just read how you have uh, written the text uh, code file so let me show you similarly i will read the same file as in the code box format but this time what i will going to do is like i will just have this and show you the difference If you see, this is how code uh, code box works. So it is just uh, writing in the form of code and how you have written it will, it will write in the same format. Next, uh, uh, next we have uh, text password box. So let us see how we can write the password box here. I will just change it to password box. And the next. Uh, see if you see password for contents so this will be uh, this will write in asterisk format whatever i'm typing it will be in asterisk format only so this is how password box works so guys this is uh, what in a nutshell for each a giveaway interfaces that we will be encounter encountering in our day-to-day -day works while using uh, python so hope you have understood my video i have some more uh, contents on easy GUI. Thank you for watching.